This week is the final week to complete the Halloween Pass 2 if you have not completed it. Also a ton of vouchers are expiring today so you might want to have a look in at your benefits to see if there's anything that you might want that you haven't claimed yet. As most of you already know I actually put up a fairly detailed video on where I think the future of Red Dead Online is. If you'd like to check that out you can I'll leave a link here as well as at the end of the video. A hell of a lot of work went into this video so I'd really like to get your opinions and feedback on it. As the Halloween Pass 2 is finishing next week there is a good chance that we could actually get a DLC next week or or at least some sort of information on what might be coming. If you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribing to the channel as I will keep you posted as soon as we know anything. A lot of the bonuses this week are just continuing last week, so we still have the double cash and XP on the feature series, which is the hardcore takeover series. Definitely, if you're a PvP fan, this is probably the best kind of PvP that you can have, as there is no tonics, ability cards, or auto aim, so it definitely evens the playing field. Madame Nazar is still doing 50% cash and roll XP on her sets this week, so if you're still collecting, you can still make a bit of money there. Also, it's worth noting that this week's Call to Arms map is updated, and this week it will be the Fort Mercer map. We're getting 5 gold bars off again on the collector roll this week if you haven't picked it up, so definitely worth picking up that roll if you don't have it yet. Also, you can get free fast travel from anywhere you want, which is always great for those of you who are doing the collector roll. I love free fast travel and wish we had more of it. There is 40% off Madame Lazar merch, so if you need any equipment from her, now is definitely a good time to visit her. We're also going to get 35% off Creola Breeds and the Collector Saddle as well, which is definitely a good saddle. You can also get 35% off the Collector Roll Outfits, and as some of you know, you can mix and match the top and the bottom parts of those outfits, so it's always good to have more. If you're heading over to the Gunsmith, you're going to find 35% off all repeaters this week, and you can also get 35% off the Collector Gun Variants, so that would be for the Lanchester as well as the Pistol. There is 35% off all shirts and suspenders over at the tailor. Still no limited time clothing. Also, Madame Nazara's collection this week is the Ancient Wood Collection. And again, there is a bonus on that, so you will earn a little bit more. So look, there is a lot of good discounts and bonuses, so it is nice that they are pushing it another two weeks. But in reality, it does also feel that it's just a bit lazy on them. My merch store is back up and running again. If you'd like to check out some items that I have designed, it helps support the channel. This week, I also did a weekly update video for Far Cry 6. It's a game I like and I enjoy playing. And there is some new content this week. So if you like that game or that kind of content, make sure you head over to that video. Leave me a comment and a like, and that will tell me that this is the kind of content you'd like me to do over here as well. Massive thanks to everyone who supports the channel, especially to the members. You guys are amazing. And that's it. Hopefully, we get a good, decent update next week. And we can start moving into December for Red Dead Online. All right, people. I'll catch you in the next one.